Hey guys, we're on Trouble here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Midwest Horizons map. And as you can see in the distance, we got some cow sheds at the farm. Now I'm bringing home the square baler because the other baler that I bought that had the wrapper on the back was actually a round baler. And I forgot about having that. So yeah, we bought four cow pens. We could buy more, but I think we'll start with four for right now. And we have to do a whole bunch of haying and get it to where they aren't um, hungry or anything. Because you gotta feed, you gotta make sure you have hay before you actually um, run the stuff. So I'm gonna buy, first I'm gonna bale, and then I'm gonna buy a bunch of bales because we have a lot of money, and I'll probably end up buying most of my bales. But we'll probably end up planting as well soon. Because I think I'll plant and do straw, and we'll rake straw together. Bail that. So we'll probably plant wheat here. Wheat over there. We'll probably plant just a whole bunch of wheat. We will see how it goes, though. But yeah, we do have to plow everything, I think. Oh, and Hank's on here, apparently. Didn't know that. Hank's going to be starting his own farm. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, Where are the fields need plowed we're gonna do the border on this one Wesley didn't quite get all of it and we're gonna plow this up this grass piece up because there's really no need to have it just a grass piece right there and we'll plow 15 under and we might buy we might buy some new fields we'll see how it goes but yeah and then we need to once we get that plowed we need a lime 15 I believe Apparently not. Okay. We do need to lime grass. We'll probably just lime it all just because I limed 18. So yeah, we gotta get to work on that. And we're gonna jump in the 1586. And we have the chisel plow, the 1600 chisel plow on the 4440. Alright, unfold it, drop it, kick it on. I think it's probably on now. Alright. So yeah, you can see I did an actual silage bill there. And yeah, shout out to Christopher. I just saw his little notification Snapchat thing. So yeah, he wanted a shout out. Shout out to him. Also, I feel like there was another person who asked that... I don't remember. Because I'll do shout outs if I remember your name. But if I don't remember your name, I usually forget. Anyway... Why is this bailing so slow? Guessing because it's such a big windrow. Just takes a little longer. Let's go ahead and shut it off and we'll bail this. Maybe the tractor ain't enough power. Don't have enough power. There we go. That's one thing I've noticed about these balers. Like they're slower. But then in real life you have to go to speed, so I guess it's alright go pretty slow let's run this one and see if it's better there we go much better that's a little windrow that we missed a little piece that we missed and yeah I think we'll just go ahead and do that we'll get this bailed up here hopefully tonight hopefully I'll stay on pretty late tonight and bail this up um yeah farm update we got of course, we're done harvesting, not harvesting. I'm thinking of wheat. We're going to start wheat in the next couple of weeks, probably three, four weeks, three, two and a half weeks. So that'll kind of be in squads tournament. So hopefully um, I will be able to play in that because they're wanting to start it. Not on the 17th, but on the 23rd, I believe, is what the day they said the official date and yeah so they're gonna start at the 23rd which it's all right they can start it whenever I guess it's not really up to me when they start it it's just it's just more convenient if they start at the 17th because I won't have much to do and it will be handy more handy so anyway I think we're gonna go over and start on the grass patch as well unfolder here Drop it in the ground. 
will probably also turn the thing on so we can plow right up to the edge of the road. There we go. We'll make sure and we'll get it all nice and worked up. So we should be able to set an A B line. We'll do auto width. Set A. And we will actually we'll set A and B along the other side. That sounds like a better plan. But yeah, we're just gonna be on here tonight. I'm gonna be chiseling. Probably I'll probably end up planting some stuff tonight. Cause I'd like to get those crops in the ground. And we'll get all this baled, and we'll have a whole bunch of bales to haul in the next video, probably. And we'll have we'll get Hank all set up and going here. And after I get done recording, and we have to visit the co-op because that's what we were doing next. There goes my Snapchat again as well. All right, come on. Where's A? There we go. Yeah, we'll go visit the co-op real quick. Oh, I guess we have to lime that too. I think I might plow all my grass up and replant it to grass. We'll see. But I really, I don't think I'll be using grass much. I'll probably just be not doing grass. There we go. Lift that up. So yeah, we're going to go up to the co-op and show that off. Snapchat's freaking out. I did turn it down a lot, so you guys might not be able to hear it as bad. But yeah, we're going to go into this and drive up to the co-op. I kind of forgot about the co-op. And yeah, so Tanner made that. It's actually pretty neat. I actually looked at it because he said that I could when I drove, when I drove by at the last video, at the end of the last video. You guys saw a lot of it. It's actually pretty cool. Now, he found a new tanker, so I think if I can find, like, placeable tanks or, like, set up a blend plant at my house, like, this place, I'll have him haul fertilizer to me and then I can spray using that rather than driving up there with a trailer and having him fill it. But he is going to have seed, so maybe I'll wait because I don't think he has seed yet. I think I'll wait till he's on later tonight to make that video because you know it'd be pretty cool to haul up the uh thing and go get seed up there all right so we are wheeling in here we so this is the co-op now he's got a water tank over there and i don't think i can open these doors oh sweet i can't all right okay so we got the skid stairs two speed 590 and he's got the loader he does have seed he does have lime perfect so yeah you can pull up here and tell him you're gonna come get some stuff you can go pick it up yourself and haul the pallets back it's pretty neat um yeah if he was on I'd have him load some seed up right now and actually take it up there but yeah it's pretty cool I like how he's got that set up and we he has a grain bin as well so if you want to, if he hauls your corn, he you can choose to store it at his place. That's the in-game bin. He didn't buy the big grain facility because he thought it would lag the game out. Because when he tried placing it, it, it like lagged a big lag. Which, it'll probably work. I'm probably going to try and get one. But we'll see. That is Wesley's um, NH3 toolbar. He put that in there, brought it up here so that Tanner can fill it. And what's this sticking out? Okay, so I believe you can't open these doors. So I'm going to have to go over to the co-op. Oh, i got to sign in as admin. Darn. Log in as admin here. Perfect. Now I'm going to co-op farms. All right, let's open this door. Maybe, come on, you know you want to open. There it goes. Alright, so he's got two grain trailers. Oh, that's what's sticking out with tarps. So he's got the Big Tex, two Big Tex trailers, Gooseneck Seed Tenders, 
gooseneck 40 footer two grain trailers go ahead and close this up for them there we go and looks like a power washer at every booth pretty fancy we'll go ahead and open that door open this one and he's got a seed tenders basically semi trailers so these are the new uh, deals I don't know I think this is water or maybe this is herbicide I don't know but yeah they actually have like logos on them so you can only haul like that's a fuel these are fuel tankers not sure why it has two of them and then I'm guessing these are uh, fertilizer liquid fertilizer and herbicide one of them I don't know why they just didn't do all of them like all the stuff you can fill up and unload and stuff I don't know why he's got two flatbeds two meridian seed tenders close that up I guess we can go back to, we'll finish it that one and this one I believe he has liquid machines or is it dry machine yep liquid machines so he's got my favorite the 6203 floater interrogator uh, the R4045 he would have the big wide tires on but he changed them out for Wesley's crops he had to go spray Wesley's stuff and the Rubicon Hardy sprayer got that as well and the Rogator so he's got all them my personal favorite is the floater I mean look at it it's just beautiful it's beautiful it's awesome I like it especially now that they made updates to it and you can unhook the spreader boxes and stuff really cool alright so he's got the case titan 4540 the R4045 spreader box the new leader spreader for the interrogator floater and the topper cover big thing for that I think this kinda looks a little silly like to me it just looks a little goofy cause I'm so used to seeing spreaders like this plus I always buy that spreader because it holds more this one doesn't hold as much technically it should hold more but it doesn't so alright now the first deal there's gonna be semis there's semis in this so we have or should be semis oh yeah so he added in the spreader the semi spreader look at that baby I'm going to try it out. I'm going to make a video on that as well. Got some big floater tires. <clears throat> Got the uh, K30. Big old super swampers. Fuel trailer. Two more K30s. One with the flatbed, one with the box. The semi. Beautiful semi. There we go. And the International and the two Kenworths. So we have Kenworth, Peterbilt, International. Just need some Ford, some Chevy. There we go. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and head back to the house. And to get some stuff bailed up, get some stuff plowed up. And be ready for Tanner to fertilize and spray and lime and do all that. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. And we will see you all in the next one.